As a mama and as an advocate for uh, autism um, and to spread awareness, um, that's something that you've been very passionate about. Mm, yeah. Um, so as a parent, coming from one parent to parents listening in, watching, um, what would be your insight? What would be the sort of coming from the same place um, insight you would you would give them or just a word of encouragement? What would that be? Um. Children, children that are uniquely abled, that's what I say. They are truly gifts and they are unique. So harvest those gifts. Every kid has a gift. We just have to dig a little deeper sometimes to harvest that gift. Thank you. And what about... Um, folks like myself, so maybe relatives and well-meaning friends who want to show their support and they want to like help out in any way they can, but they really like they don't necessarily know how and they don't want to sort of overstep the boundary, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, what would your advice be to us? Like, what can we do to make things easier or just to kind of show our support? Until you walked in their shoes, mm -hmm. you can never understand. Mm -hmm. So it's about listening. Okay, just listen. Yeah. People want to be heard and they want to be seen. Yeah. So to be a great friend to a parent with a special needs child is to be a great listener. Okay. Thank you. We can do that, right? <laughs> um, great. Um, so just coming back to the book, and you were talking about your Scottish roommate uh, yeah. a while ago. You were roommates with Katy Perry once upon a time. Yeah. Katy Hudson at the time. Yeah, Katy Hudson. Um, yeah. And you have uh, described her as one of the most charming people you've ever met. Oh, had. so charming and hilarious. Yeah. She was, she, I mean, she still is, but we took different paths, but uh -huh. she, um, she's hilarious. Probably one of the funniest and most charming and quirky people. I'm not surprised. I've seen yeah. her um, as a judge on American Idol. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you still keep in touch? Oh, gosh, no. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't even have the phone, but I used to have a phone number. Because uh -huh. that was my, I used to have it in my sidekick. Yeah. And obviously, I don't have a sidekick anymore. No. I've got an iPhone. Things have changed. Yes. <laughs> yeah, cool. So, really, lastly, Jackie, um, something that I was really surprised to find out in the book, in the, I think it's near about the end, you mentioned that you have chronic pain. It's something that you've struggled with for some time. And I was quite mm. surprised to find that out because when we see Jackie, right, she's cheerful, lovely, bubbly, beautiful. I could never imagine that in the background, you've got this really severe pain that you're struggling with. How are you doing now? What, what has am, today been like? I'm doing much better today than I was yesterday. And I'll be much better tomorrow than I am today. Mm -hmm. So I say that because uh, I, do, I do believe that we serve the great physician. He is the great physician and he can heal mm -hmm. anything. Mm -hmm. But once again, he's like the cable guy. Mm -hmm. He will, the cable guy tells you, I'll be there between the hours of 10 and 2. Yeah. And you're like, wow, okay. So I'm just going to wait, sit here and wait. So he reminds me of the cable guy. He shows up eventually, mm -hmm. but it's in his timing. So as far as healing goes, I do believe that we we will be healed. Yeah. I will be healed. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what is? What can I do to use this to serve him better? How can now it sounds counterintuitive? How can pain help me serve God better? Mm -hmm. Actually, because I have to totally and completely rely upon Him. Mm -hmm. If we can do it within our, if we try to do it within our own strength, well, we can keep trying, but we're going to keep failing. Yeah. We have to rely on His strength. So. The pain thing, it's slowly getting better, but I tell you what, it gives you so much more compassion mm -hmm. for people. Um, like when somebody tells me that they have a, like a pain, especially pain that you can't see. Yeah. It's almost like after a while, it feels like people think you're making it up. Mm -hmm. But when you suffer with the same thing, you can look at that person and go, I get it. Yeah. I see you. Yeah. I understand. Let's pray together. 
Let's worship together that we serve a good God who in his timing is going to heal us, however that looks. That's wonderful. Um, and talking about God's timing, this is a bit spontaneous. Okay, okay, okay. But there is a brilliant section towards the end of the book. Here it is. Look, notes and everything, guys. Two willers. It's huh? a great um, I'm so great glad you um, So basically, this part um, coming from here. Okay. Um, I think that would be a great way for us to end and for you to get a bit of a look in uh, into a book as well so jackie if you don't mind would you read this out to mm-hmm. us sure all these crazy stories in my life and all the crazy stories in yours the funny ones the weird ones the sad ones the awful ones the joyful ones the unexpected ones the predictable ones those stories are the making of us they are how we understand ourselves how we place ourselves in the world When I think about the various stories in my life, the ones that make me laugh, the ones that make me cry, the ones that make me angry, the ones that make me proud, I often think of each of them as singular events. But when I back up a bit, when I refocus the eyes of my heart, a lyric begins to emerge. Things I thought of as isolated incidents begin to connect, begin to form a melody. Do you feel like that? Like you've got random events in your life, these individual stories, Can I just tell you, they're adding up to something. It's not always clear, it's not always obvious, but God is in there stringing all those events and anecdotes and comedies and tragedies and histories together. Your life has a fuller story to tell and God will connect all those dots, all those points of experience as you live out your days. Through all of it, all the experiencing, all the retelling, God is up to one thing one ultimate purpose. He wants to know, he wants you to know something, to know it so deep down to your core that you can see it in every angle, every note of each moment of your life that plays out. He wants you to know, what he wants you to know is this, you are his child, his, wanted, loved, designed, specifically placed in time as his. So there you have it. Words of wisdom. Oh. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you so much. And guys, um, support Jackie. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to Jackie's YouTube channel. Follow her on Insta. What else are you on, Jackie? Insta, Facebook, also um, Twitter. Uh, yeah, yeah, all, all those places. <laughs> all social media platforms. Yeah. Fantastic. The beautiful Miss Jackie Walescus, everybody. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you.